Hello students, in this video I am going to demonstrate uh, how to program uh, the uh, PLC software uh, in simulation mode. For example, if you are not having uh, PLC hardware with you, we can uh, still uh, practice programming, PLC programming using the uh, Delta PLC software. Uh, in the previous video, I've, I've shown you how to download the software and install the software and create a simple project with the hardware. But in this video, I'm going to demonstrate uh, without hardware, how PLC uh, program can be written in the software and can have a simulation without any hardware. Double click on the software, WPL software. So go to file and new. So PLC program title is uh, I'll just zoom it. So zoom option is not there. Project title like you decide. For example, project one and PLC type is SS2. Uh, in simulation. Uh, it's not a, not important because you are not working with the hardware. Okay, click on OK. But uh, the same PLC program, if you want to download it to hardware, at that time PLC type is very much important. So uh, whatever the hardware is there with you, the same model type you just uh, uh, have it in the beginning. So that same PLC program it can work in simulation as well as with the hardware. Now I'll try to zoom it a little bit. The screen there is a zoom in, zoom out option is there. This is zoom out, no zoom in option. So in this, I'll again I'll demonstrate a simple program here. For example, and logic uh, with the two inputs. Uh, say for example, F1 is normally open contact. I'll take two normally open contact. Click on F1 or normally open contact and X0 I will take it. This I will name it as say for example switch 1. In the comment section I have taken to switch 1 and again I will take one more normal open contact that is X1 that is switch 2 that is input 2. So and logic is very simple when two inputs are on when two inputs are on, on, then only output is on. So output that is F7, that is output coil. So for example, I take it as a LED 1. And just uh, zoom out a little bit. I think now it is clear X0, X1 and Y0. Then to check the program, there is a code option is there. Click on the uh, code option here so now there is no error here so we want to simulate this program assume that you don't have a hardware so in that case there is a simulator option here that is horizontal P is there right that is a simulator option so first click on the simulator option and then go to the download option right to PLC ok the program is downloaded and there is a online mode control f4 is the online mode so click on select on that so now you cannot check the uh, program because it is in stop mode simulator in stop mode so it should be in run mode so what is the what going to do it so there is a green button here that is called run that is control f control f11 is option click on that do you want to download it uh, run mode yes now simulator is in run mode now I can force the value of x0 and x1 to check the output of y0 how to do it first select x0 select it and then right click set on still there is no output because x1 is low that is switch 2 is not operated so again select switch 2, select switch 2 using a left button, left mouse button. After that right mouse button, 
then set on. See here, when input uh, that is switch 1 and switch 2 both are high, that is x0 and x1 both are high, output y0 is on, that is LED is on. So select x0 and then right click set off, so output is off, again select x1, right click set off. So in this way you can check uh, the PLC program uh, in the simulation mode. If you want to edit the same program then first come out of the online mode. So again click on the online mode. So you will come out of the online mode and then you can edit the program here. And before editing you just come out of the simulator mode also and then make a changes, make changes and then again go to simulator option first and then go to online. So this is the same procedure you have to repeat it. Uh, so that uh, you can have a, a simulation of updated program. For example, I'll change this AND logic to OR logic. I'll remove this. To fill the gap, there is a horizontal line. And if you want to add one more line before end of the program, right click. There is a insert row option. Here, I'll take one normally open contact that is x1 that is switch 2 switch 2 already there x1 is declared as switch 2 and then click on here and add a vertical line just to have a connection between x0 and x1 now this is now this is our logic so now I edited the program successfully now we go to the simulator first and then online mode yes yes for all the options now simulator in stop mode. So simulator should be in run mode. So it should be in run mode. Yes. Now you can check on it. That is select the x0 and right click set on. See output is there. So any one, any one input is high, output is high in case of or, or logic. This is how you can independently work with a software without any hardware. So this is all about this video. If you have any questions, put it in the comment section. I will answer it. Uh, thank you everyone. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel. Thank you.